care experience. We all have a story, but our journey through the care system will be unique. One thing that we all have in common is eventually we will get our own home, somewhere to relax, express ourselves, and stamp our personalities into. After all, it's the first step to being an adult. Yet the reality of making a house your home can be a bit of a shock. If your options are limited and you have to say yes to that place, making your own can be tricky. But it's worth making a plan. Research has shown if we don't feel comfortable in our own homes, it can really affect our mental health. So we're here to help you with some easy tips and tricks to turn that bland space into something more personal without spending a fortune. But remember, if your accommodation has more serious issues that interior design can't fix, speak to your social worker or landlord to sort these first. In this video, we are going to show you how you can personalise this bland room into something that's unique to you. When we're faced with a boring blank canvas, it can really help to think about colour first. Whatever your preference, try and think about perhaps two or three colours that can go well together. Have a think about how you want to feel in the room and how you want to use it. Those neon colours may be fun in the shop, but won't provide the calm, relaxing space you need after a long day at work or school. You might not be able to paint your walls in your own rental property. However, it doesn't hurt your actual landlord. However, assuming you can't paint, you can still use furnishings and artwork to bring colour into your space. So you've got a colour palette in mind and an idea of how you want to use the space. Next, think about what practical pieces of furniture you may need, as many places come part furnished with the basics, so you may want to think about extra storage or lamps. Finally, some finishing touches, accessories. Now, it's really easy to go OTC on accessories. Too much and it just becomes clutter. And if you're on a tight budget, focus on the most important practical items first. But a few of the right accessories can add some real nice finishing touches to your room. You can use things like adhesive strips or hooks to hang things on your walls so that you do not have to drill or cause damage. And when it comes to helping to make a calming space, get some plants. Having even a bit of greener in your room has been shown to improve your mental health. Also, they're just cool to look at and watch them grow. I also find some inspirational artwork can help me stay focused and balanced when I'm stressed. And things like fairy lights and a source of music can add great ambience to a room. So as you can see, with a bit of creativity and planning, you can make a space that's unique to you. It makes such a difference to have a place you feel you can relax in, as it can really help your mental health. And your house should be a place you enjoy living in, 